Greetings, my name is Tim Johnson. This is Recovery, Strength, Hope and Courage. This is the fourth in a series of short videos I'm doing on eating addiction. And this one's entitled about, is about the four pillars of health, which modern science has discovered that are very important for the overall health of your mind, body and spirit. And the four pillars of health have really been extremely um, important to my recovery and an essential part of it in a sense because I certainly wouldn't be at the stage I'm, I'm at now and feeling as good as I do now without having followed the advice in the four pillars of health. I've covered sort of three of them already, um, diet, uh, exercise and um, breathing and meditation or rest as I put that under the umbrella of and I just want to say at this point that um, Anyone watching these videos and following them and, and trying to follow along to the four pillars of health and, and please do it in small chunks. Don't set your, set your targets too high initially because I think this can put so many people off, particularly with lifestyle changes, which we all know are, are extremely difficult, particularly if you've been in active addiction most of your life and or, or you're in early recovery now or even going through withdrawal now because these things can be applied at any stage that, that you're at it doesn't matter or any stage of your life you know whether you've been in addiction or not these things will help your life and and make you feel a thousand percent better there's no doubt about that but it's very important not to try and achieve too much too soon um, because it can really demotivate you and put you off and it can stop people following any sort of plan and um, there's no doubt about it and what I did um, and I recommend you do as well is just take these things in in small bites small chunks because change as I said in the last video is massively difficult particularly if you've been set in your ways for so long and, and, and doing exactly the opposite that these things these pillars suggest you do just take small bites just take um, make small changes and Begin to see how much better you feel. Even just taking one of the pillars, say diet for instance, making small adjustments in your diet, such as maybe you cut out sugar for a week and see how you feel. You know, you, you, you do little things or, you know, that's quite a big thing to be fair if you're if you're eating a lot of sugar. You might just say cut out bread for a week or or um, don't eat any dairy for a week. Whatever it is or, or, or just, just adjust these small things or drink six or seven pints of water in a day for a few days and see how much better you feel. And all of a sudden you'll get this motivation, you'll get this um, this desire to continue and, and, and start looking into it more deeply and, and make bigger changes as you go along and as you feel better and better and better. It's like a snowball effect as you go on. Anyhow, today's video um, is, the, is about the fourth pillar and I think the most forgotten pillar but the most, probably the most important pillar actually, because it's the, it's the one that's really difficult, particularly for, a, for addicts, because it's sleep. And sleep is, um, as you know, certainly uh, as you go into withdrawal and into early recovery, whether you've been on whatever drug you've been on, whether you've been on opiates, alcohol, whatever it is, sleep is impossible to begin with. Um, for insomnia becomes... Um, a burden you have to carry for uh, certainly through withdrawal and, and the first couple of weeks of a couple of three weeks of recovery and it's a nightmare and you just know how shit it makes you feel there's no doubt about that and it's a good while even with you know with, with any addiction before your sleep patterns get into um, any sort of rhythm or normality but the thing is what people don't realize because there's this mentality that uh, you know i'll sleep when i die particularly amongst younger people in this modern day and age you know i'll sleep when i die i don't need sleep just need a few hours well it's, it's bullshit because it is the bedrock it it will be the bedrock of your recovery there's no doubt about it getting optimum sleep between six and eight hours i mean eight hours preferably that is the, that is the recommended amount because there's so many things happening in your sleep that i didn't know about that are so important for your overall well-being because if you're not getting enough sleep there's all sorts of things happen there's all sorts of hormone imbalances happen you start to um, not be able to deal with I'll give you a few examples you know if you're if you're not getting any enough sleep say you're getting 
broken sleep or you're getting three to five hours sleep which is not enough you know anything certainly anything below four hours sleep is, is certainly not enough but as soon as your sleep levels drop to below the optimum six seven or eight hours sleep you're not able to deal with um, glycogen properly so your your insulin levels are spiking all over the place so that um that you can end up with diabetes there's no doubt about that that's that's proven your cortisol levels start to spike you're not able to maintain they get they get higher and higher and higher which causes cardio, cardiovascular disease and um, all sorts of stress and anxiety lack of sleep can cause um, anxiety and depression massively and you know you talk about the anxiety you're feeling particularly in recovery you know a lot of it can be blamed sometimes on that lack of sleep you know, I'm not getting enough sleep um, leptin and ghrelin um, leptin is an appetite suppressor which um, is, is secreted at night but if you're not getting enough sleep it's 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 lower secretion of it so it makes your appetite higher so you get weight gain also ghrelin which is um, stimulates appetite that slows at night but if you're not getting enough sleep it increases so that means that your appetite is stronger so you end up craving carbohydrates sugar quick fixes as soon as you from when you wake up in the morning until whenever um, so you get weight gain um, it, it, sleep deprivation has been linked to cancers to heart disease um, as I say depression all that sort of stuff um, early aging and then also it affects your immune system um, so you get all sorts of illnesses you get inflammation and pain in your body because your immune system is causing inflammation in your body it's not working properly and the list goes on and on I could I could go on this is sort of the tip of the iceberg if you like and um, and also at night human growth hormone is secreted if you're getting proper sleep which means that your body heals rebuild your brain heals and rebuilds your muscles heal and rebuild and uh, strengthen um, so so important for your overall feeling of well-being and contentment so if you're not getting enough sleep this you need to start looking at your sleep hygiene which is what I did because I, I mean in early recovery it was a nightmare for me I know that and this is where I just want to talk quickly about something um, I've called I've called uh, device detox if you like or or tech uh, tech taper if you want to call it that um, your devices your mobile phones your um, particularly mobile phones because at night time if you're looking at a mobile phone it gives out something called blue light you may be aware of this you may not be which um, stops melatonin production um, which is what makes us sleep it tells us it's morning so it's it lowers the melatonin makes us think it's morning which means we can't get to sleep and and our brain is super stimulated if you look back into sort of 20 years ago before devices um, people came home from work uh, if you like um, whatever they've been doing and spent time with their families and sat around the table and and talked and had a meal together and um, but also most important well not most importantly but importantly um, they switched off from their working day they came home and they rest and they maybe after they had their dinner they sat in front of the telly and chilled out and that sort of wound them down ready for sleep the problem obviously today is that the world we live in which is a thousand miles an hour and and, and we're always contactable because our devices are in our faces all the time or on our laptops in front of us all the time um, means that um, we don't switch off from work we come home um, from a, certainly a, a massive percentage of us and we're dealing with emails people are contacting us so our working day never stops our brain is we're not getting enough rest which is, which is why depression and tiredness and stress and anxiety and addiction and all these things are so prevalent in today's society I'll give you a little experiment because I don't you know, I certainly don't um, have any devices in my bedroom at all at night certainly four hours before bed I don't look at um, a laptop I don't have the phone my phone's in another room switched off um, I don't look at it I'm not contactable and that's the way it is and and that's how I wind down ready for sleep total darkness in the room the room's nice and cool I'm relaxed I do some breathing exercises but no devices and I find I just gently go off to sleep and that takes that takes time and there are other methods you could look at 
but start having a little detox from your devices. Try an hour in the morning and an hour at night. Try an hour before bed and see how much better you feel. Try having a whole day, maybe a Sunday, and call it a Sabbath, um, a Sabbath detox if you like, and and um, just switch all your devices off and spend some time with the people that you love, and see how much less stressed you are, more relaxed you are, how much better you feel. You know, just detox a bit. No one's saying in this modern society, obviously, with your work and with the way things are, people have to be contacted. But when it's in your face all the time and you're constantly, you, your brain can't switch off, your cortisol levels are on the buzz all the time. Even if you're looking at stuff on Facebook, you know, you're up and down like a bloody yo yo, likes, dislikes, people annoying, this, that, and the others going on. Um, Whatever it is, you just can't relax, you can't chill out. And this is having a major effect on um, our brains and our general physical, mental and spiritual health. There's no doubt about it. See how much you better you feel after a small detox. An hour, try an hour a day, try half an hour a day. Small bite-sized chunks with all these four pillars of health. All of it. Just do a tiny bit because we're all human beings. But, you know, I will say something that death is the price we pay for life. Death is the price we pay for life. So you need to live your life, not staring into a phone. You need to live it feeling good, feeling healthy, feeling strong. So these four pillars of health that I've talked about in these videos, breathing, the diet, the movements and the exercise, and finally sleep and the, the detox of the, um, the tech. Please just give it a little go. Try just taking chunks of it. Try taking tiny bits of it, small bite-sized pieces. Whatever you can achieve, just do your best. You can't have any recriminations if you just do your best. And that's all you can do, you know, and, and, and then just get confidence and motivation as you begin to feel better. Because you will in every way, spiritually, mentally and physically. So that's all I'll, I'll say today. Um, give it a go as soon as you can. And, um, and you'll find that it will strengthen your recovery a thousand percent, no doubt about it. And, and even if you're not in recovery, even if you're watching this video and you've not, you're not in addiction, it will strengthen, you know, it will help your life, you know, in, in, in every single way, every aspect of it. Okay, so Carpe Diem, seize the day. Much love to you. Bye.